It's Alex Belfield talking to the stars of Emmerdale and we've got one for you now who's gorgeous and talented Emma Atkins. How are you? Thank you very much for that comment. Um, I'm good, how are you? Well, this is a bit strange really. You're in Leeds, I'm in Leeds and I've had to come all the way down to London to talk to you. You must be very important. Um, I wouldn't go that far, but I think we just happened to be in a lovely hotel called the Soho Hotel, we, we must uh, mention that, where we, we've had the viewing for the Dingle DVD, which is why we're both here in London. <laughs> why must we mention the hotel? They're not paying me, are they paying you? No, I just mean, I do like this hotel. I don't know why, I st- we, we mustn't, we don't have to mention this hotel, but I do like it. Have you seen the squirrely whirly wallpaper? Let's mention it again. The next time we stay, we'll get a free upgrade. <laughs> the Soho Hotel, uh, I can't remember the address, but uh, check it out online. <laughs> Well, we're in the middle of the mucky bit of London, really, aren't we? Which is convenient for afterwards. Yeah, I like a bit of mucky London. There's nothing <laughs> like Soho. I mean, Leeds just doesn't compare, does it? There's no muckiness in Leeds, really. I do love Leeds. I don't know whether you're trying to take me down that avenue of, um, you know, negative comments about Leeds. I can't say much negative about Leeds. Uh, what can I say? No. I'd be pretty stupid. I'm on BBC Radio Lee, so it wouldn't be in my interest <laughs> no, to slag it, it off, would it? be in your best interest at all, no. And maybe we mention the cakes. I mean, we don't get that very often. You sit here and this. what do they call those, cupcakes, are they? They are cupcakes. The green one looks slightly tempting, but then, is it soft? Yes, it is, and I've just touched it. I'm going to have to take it home. Hang on a minute. Somebody can't eat that after you've stuck your no, finger in I, it. I, I, was, I was told I, was, I could help myself. Now, listen, you can't be your weight and you eat cupcakes. We know this isn't possible. Um, I don't eat many cupcakes. I think one bite and you've, you've, you've had one. You've had one bite, you've had a million. Listen, you're a bit of glamour in this soap because, let's face it, we need a bit of totty to look at. No, no, don't sit there grimacing, Emma. Tell us about your character and your role. My character, Charity Dingle, she is sort of... L- love to hate her. She's so naughty but nice. She's a bit of bad, a bit of good. Um... What else can I say? She's always up to no good. And when she is, the audience keep coming up to me and saying, we need more of the old charity. <laughs> so I think the storyliners must must know that because they're, they're continuously taking me down that route of um, slap my hand, shouldn't be doing that kind of thing. So that's what I love about your character. You've kind of got a wink in your eye, haven't you? You're always up yes, to something. sparkle. Um, she seems to get away with it. She always seems to be able to rip about... 25 people off in the village and then someone new moves in and says I like the sound of you I want to work with you and you think surely by now those 25 people would have said don't go near that woman you know she's bad news Is it fun working on Emma down now because A they work you very hard you've got about 300 episodes a week to stick out and you're in most of them Um, it's an interesting cast as well now they've gone for some big names who have kind of upped the profile a bit yeah, they have, and I'm honoured to be part back here doing what I, I love doing, playing this brilliant character that was created by John Chambers. And, yeah, it, it's it's lovely right now. It's 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 certainly in a great position. Um, we've had the big Aaron storyline, which has been so successful, and there's been countless people writing in and just congratulating the show as a whole with that storyline because it was very sensitively dealt with um, in terms of Paddy... Um, you know, finding out everything about that storyline was brilliant, seeing Lucy and Danny work together. And I was um, a little bit quiet during that time, which was brilliant. And, and now Kane, um, Kane and Charity are, you know, up to their tricks again. And I'm going to be working a lot with Chris Bisson because Jay and Charity have a lot, um, a sort of business tie together. So generally speaking, it's, it's an exciting time for the show and I'm, I'm privileged to be on board again. I say the smell of these cakes are distracting me. I can't think about Why what you're talking you about. Have a bite, and then you'll calm down. Would that be inappropriate, though, in the middle of an interview? <laughs> I don't think They'd so. Be sat here masticating and all of that bins <laughs> on the air. You don't need that, do you? Oh, no. <laughs> you're right, though, about the uh, Danny storyline that's just been on. We had him on the program just before oh, he started, and phenomenal actor. I mean, I know I've listened to Paul O'Grady ranting and raving about how brilliant he is, and he's, he's just really encapsulated that part and done it so perfectly. Yes, my mum did actually say that she's been watching the Paul O'Grady show loads, and that he. He's constantly referencing the show and saying how excellent Danny is. And I have to say, you can't really disagree because... And he's genuine as well. He's very raw and enigmatic. And it's just brilliant. Everything he does, he's sort of... It turns to gold because he's just pl- he's just being himself. He's not trying. He's just... I don't know. There's a truth about it which I think resonates with a lot of people. 